day, students! So today, I'm going to teach you about scientific notation. So what is scientific notation? Scientific notation, also called standard form in Britain, is a special way of writing very small and very large number using the powers of 10. It makes writing big and small values easy. So basically, ang scientific notation ay ang pagpapaikli ng mga sobrang habang or sobrang laking um, number or sobrang liit na numbers. So here are some examples kung paano ginagawa ang scientific notation. So example number one, eto, sobrang um, daming zero. So paano natin mapapaliit? Itong sobrang daming, hindi naman mapapalit, mapapaiksi. Itong sobrang daming um, zeros na ito. So, the decimal point of this number is after the zero. Move the decimal point to the left, leaving one non-zero digit. Count how many times you move the decimal point. This will be the exponent 10. Since the number is greater than 1, the exponent is positive. So, when we write this number, so, lagay natin dito, 3, ilang 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, ilipat lang natin dito, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, pag ganito yung number, ibig sabihin, nasa dulo yung ek yung decimal point. So, para makuha ang scientific notation nito, ililipat mo pakaliwa yung decimal point hanggang doon sa dulo na maglilive ka lang ng isang non-zero digit. So, ano ba yung mga non-zero digit? So, yun yung um, mas malaki sa zero. So, one pataas. Okay? So, since ito yung, ano, isa na, ito yung magiging one non-zero digit, ililipat ko yung decimal point papunta dito. So, gawin natin. So, bilangin natin yung um, numbers para malipat yung decimal point hanggang doon. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, nailipat mo na dito yung um, decimal point. So, paano ito isulat? 3.0 times 10 to the ilang ilang beses mong inilipat yung decimal point? 8. Okay. So, ito yung magiging scientific notation nitong number na ito. And since it is greater than 1, the exponent will be positive. Okay. How about this number. Yan. So, isulat lang natin uli dito. 0 0.000567. So, ang, ang instruction, move, move the decimal point to the right, leaving the first non-zero digit. Count the number of the decimal place which the decimal is moved and write this as the exponent of 10. Since the number is less than 1, the exponent is negative. So, this time, yung decimal point ililipat natin pa kanan para maging um, hanggang sa mamove yung decimal point sa first non-zero um, number. So, dito yon. So, ilipat natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, magiging ang sagot ay 5.67 times 10 raised to ilang best maminove yung decimal point? 4. And since ito ay less than 1 kasi 0 point yan, magiging negative yung exponent. So, ito yung magiging sagot. Ito yung scientific notation nitong number na to. Nagets ba? So, sige. More examples tayo dun sa una. So, paano kung ganito? 6, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 
Sabi ko kanina, pag ganyan, nan, ibig sabihin na nandito yung decimal point. So, saan natin ililipat yung decimal point? Sa kanan ba o sa kaliwa? Okay, sa kaliwa. So, ilipat natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sa ko, hanggang saan yung decimal point? Hanggang dito ba? Hanggang dito. Sa pinakahuling non-zero digit. Which is 6. Ito na yung huli eh. Wala namang kasunod dyan. So, mag, para is, uh, susulat mo to ng 6.023 times 10 raise to ilang best nilipat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, raise to 8 power. Okay? So, dito naman sa baba. 0.0000009 7. So, pag ganyan naman, pag less than 1, ililipat mo yung decimal point pa kanan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, hanggang dito lang sa first non-digit number which is 9. So, copy lang natin. 9.87 times 10 raised to ilang best nilipat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. And then, lalagyan mo ng negative since it is less than 1. So, nagets ba? So, now, it's time for you to try it yourself. Okay. I-pause ang video na ito para masagutan ang mga examples na to. And then, later, we will um, answer this. I will give you the answers of these numbers. Okay. You can comment down ang mga answers nyo bago natin i-reveal ang inyong ang tamang sagot para ma-check natin kung sinong nakatama. Okay? Saan na ba kayo to reveal the answers? So, here are the answers. Kindly check your works and let me know kung na-perfect ba ang mga Okay, sana may natutunan kayo and thank you for watching.